is select element. Select element is HTML element that we use to create drop down list. So basically with the select element, we can create element that we can click and predefined options will be shown that we can choose. Important attributes for select are ID, which represents unique identifier for our HTML element. We can use ID to get selected value from drop down list with the JavaScript code. Then value. Value represents value that is related with option from drop down list. Basically, label that we can see in our drop down list is just a label and real value that will be taken when we submit our form and send to the server for server side data processing is value that we set with value attribute. Selected represents value from drop down list that will be initially select in our drop down. Size defines how many elements of drop down list will be visible. And multiple attribute defines can we select one or more than one options from our drop down select list. If multiple attribute is omitted, this means that we can choose just one option for drop down. Okay, now let's create select HTML element with select start and select end tags. Inside of select, let's define option HTML element and for start option tag, let's define value HTML attribute. Let's duplicate this line of code with Ctrl D two more times. Let's define label for this field. This is gonna be role. Let's create a new line here. Okay. Now let's define labels for our options. First one will be maintainer. Second will be developer. A third one will be guest. Let's define values for it. Use the same maintainer, developer, and guest. Okay. Let's save these changes now. Let's go back in web browser. If we refresh our page, we can see our drop down select list from which you can choose one of three available options that we have defined. Okay. Next thing that we can do for our select list is let's define ID for it. We can use role. Why not? And then let's define size HTML attribute with value three. This actually means that now we will see three available options from our drop down select list. So let's refresh our page. And as you can see, now we can see instead of one, three values from our drop down select list. Okay, so next thing that we can do for our select drop down list, let's predefine initially selected value from our list. So let's use selected HTML attribute for developer. So now, if we save our changes, our developer will be initially selected in drop down select list. So if we refresh page, as you can see, developer is highlighted because that value is initially selected. If we change size to one, and now if we refresh our page, we can see that developer is the first value that will be in our dropdown select list. So if we replace selected HTML attribute, and if we set it on our guest or third value, and let's save our changes now. So now if we refresh our page, the guest will be initially selected from our drop down select list. Okay, let's set size to three once again, and let's define multiple HTML attribute for our select drop down list. This actually means that we can select more than one values from our drop down. 
If we press Ctrl and start clicking on our available options, you can see that you can select more than one option from our drop-down select list. If we omit multiple from select, save our changes. Now, even if you press Ctrl, you can select just one value from our drop-down. Okay, with the multiple, let's test once again. Press Ctrl. And as you can see, we can select more than one values. Thanks for watching this tutorial and I hope this was helpful to you. If you like our work, please become our Patreon or simply donate our PayPal. Please remember, even a little from you means a lot for us. You can follow us on our Twitter and Instagram profiles. And please don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel. Because on our YouTube channel, knowledge is waiting for you.